Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Alright, so now that we have our first app installed, the, the band app, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and um, be able to get a RESTful API going so that way when we request this band information we can get it back as JSON data so that we can take it with a client-side tool like Angular or React. In this tutorial I'm going to be using React um, because it's awesome. And um, we want that data to be um, handled by something that is uh, more capable of, of handling it than uh, the Django template. For basic websites, Django template's just fine, but for modern day apps, um, a lot of moving parts and, and cool features and things, um, you're going to want to use a client MV MVVM tool like um, React or Knockout or something similar. All right, guys, so um, that being said, what we need to do is um, the best solution for building RESTful APIs is uh, using Django REST Framework. It kicks ass. It's the best thing out there. Um, and let's go ahead and install that now. So I have uh, my, my shell going here. I'm going to say sudo pip install Django and it's all one word framework, Django REST Framework. All right, so we went ahead and installed. Um, now that we have that, we need to go ahead and add that to our settings file. So let's go ahead, just like we added to our band module before, um, we're going to add to the settings file and we'll say REST framework. And I like to put the comma afterwards. Uh, so now that we have that, uh, we should be good to go. Um, now since we're using uh, REST framework with our band module, we need to just go ahead and under the band create a file, a Python file called serializers and every module is going to need this um, when you're trying to turn it into uh, JSON data. So let me make sure I spell that right, serializers, yeah. So serializers.py, uh, let me get rid of that and let's see. Alright, so what we're going to do in order to be able to use this, um, just go ahead and I'm going to paste this in here so I don't spell it wrong. From REST Framework, import serializers. And we're going to create a class called uh, band serializer. And it's going to take in serializers.model serializer. Since I'm just trying to turn what is defined in the model into JSON data, I'm not trying to get any more um, sophisticated than that. So uh, I can just define a class meta, and then I just say down here model equals band and now it doesn't know what the hell band is so I need to in, um, uh, import band so we're going to say from band dot uh, models in fact we probably only need to do that we can probably just say from models uh, import band alright so now we have this uh, band serializer we need to go over to our URLs and update that so it can work with the uh, new API and similar to how we queried the band um, using band ID we're actually going to do the same thing um, well almost the same thing so let's create our re regular expression and I'm going to do API and I can just copy uh, this entire thing here so I'm just going to copy that Okay, that'll work. And then we'll say um, band, right, there should be single quotes. We'll say band.views dot uh, band detail. All right, so I think that looks good. Um, now, with uh, REST Framework, we want to be able to request different types of data, whether it's JSON or XML or something like that. And we want um, to when we request the URL, so if we go noobmusic.com forward slash band forward slash API forward slash one for the base side band that we had entered before, uh, we want to be able to say forward slash one dot JSON. So in order for that to be able to work, so if it said dot XML or dot JSON, we're going to add a feature for um, that comes with um, Django REST framework. So this should say URL patterns equals format suffix patterns and we'll say URL patterns so it's passing in this uh, this value um, now if we look at the um, the red mark here it's because format suffix patterns is part of Django REST framework 
and we need to import that. So what you want to do is copy this code here. So from REST framework .url patterns, import format suffix patterns. Okay, now that we have the serial defined, we need to go into our views to create the, the view that we just defined as band detail under this API. So we, we're going to go over here. And we're going to be using class-based views, which is a little bit different than what we've done before um, with the you know, defining these individual methods. Uh, we're going to call this uh, the band detail because that's the way I identified in our URL. And this is going to use something from um, Django REST framework called uh, generics retrieve update destroy API view. And basically this class based view is going to create like a lot of um, the stuff that we can use like to get, put, update, um, and delete from our, our database. So there's a lot of built in stuff using this class based view and then using the generics from Django REST framework and we'll get into that more later but if you just follow along and this is typically all you need to do for most um, standard REST, uh, RESTful APIs especially if you're just getting started and you don't want anything um, to be too confusing uh, at the moment but we'll be able to do some cool stuff with this here in a moment so every um, every view that Django REST framework uh, returns and these have a query set so that's what we're going to identify now is a query set it's going to be band dot objects and we're just going to query them all so right now we only have one band in our database but we could have a thousand or fifteen hundred or, or even fifty thousand and we need to query all of those and then we need to identify a serializer class that's going to be able to return the data that we want um, you know in, in either an XML format or JSON format wh whichever one we request and we're going to be using JSON so for it to be able to turn it into uh, JSON we need to bring in our serializer class so let's go ahead and identify that serializer class equals and then this is where we bring in the um, band serializer that we just identified in here so let's copy band serializer we'll say band serializer now it doesn't know what band serializer is so we need to go ahead and import that so from serializers import band serializer all right so now um, that should be pretty good all right now for security purposes what we want to do with um, Django REST framework now installed we need to go over to our settings file again and I want to add a setting down here which is going to be a REST framework it says default filter backends actually you know what I apologize for right now we're not going to do that that's going to be another video because that gets a little bit complicated when we start querying the database um, based on like um, text and things that we want to search for right now we're just going to keep it simple we'll request the band ID return it as JSON um, so let's go ahead and just uh, move forward now sorry about that we'll get into that in further videos so now that we've done all this stuff to our band, let's go ahead and update that. And we also need to update the main application since we changed our settings file and we installed Django REST framework. And now we're definitely going to have to restart the server after making such a big change. Alright, so if we go over to our URL and we change this and we do uh, band forward slash API and then we're going to say one and now we want to go ahead and say dot json and that's what that format suffix thing I was telling you about uh, but it looks like we have a keyboard argument one second alright so one of the things that it looks like we need to fix is the URLs here this is um let's go ahead and uh, we're going to say just views dot band detail and we need to give it the argument dot as view I forgot about this and in order for this to be able to to use views we need to say from uh, we can just say import views or well from band import views all right that that should work but this is um 
that is definitely something that we didn't have right so hopefully it'll resolve our error so I'm just going to restart the server one more time now we have another issue no attribute ban detail what did I define it as oh uh, yeah look at that so I did ban detail this needs to say the same thing sorry about that this is what happens when I type in code type code and uh, talk at the same time uh, sorry about that guys so it turns out what the issue is is that um, in the urls.py file it um there is a caret symbol that we're missing for the regular expression so if, if we look at this before i had this and basically it matched everything and it was matching uh this expression and this expression and since uh they both matched it was sending it to the the view so anyway the caret sign which is this little thing right here is um it was the the number one problem if we want if we go ahead and we fix that and we update the um, the ban, restart the the server. It will work fine. So we restart that, and we go back over to our page. We should now be able to go forward slash API, and then if we go one, you can see Django REST framework here now pulls up all this information. And the reason why it looks ugly like this be, is because there is no static content. So in order to fix that, um, what we can do is we can just run a command from our um, our manage Python command. So we can say python manage.py, and we're going to say collect static. And what it'll do is it'll bring over, uh, I didn't spell that right, it'll bring over all the static files that Django REST Framework has built in. And it brings them over to our static folder. So if, like, I went over here and I'll refresh the server. If we went into the static now, you can see that REST Framework added, because of that command, it added all this REST Framework, JSS, CSS, fonts, all this stuff, uh, to make it look um, nice and pretty. So if I um, refresh this here, it'll have all the CSS and it'll look nice. All right, so the format suffix thing that I was explaining to you guys before before we run into that problem um, this format suffix pattern this is this allows us to be able to request this API and you can see that we're getting all this uh, this base ID data back because we gave it the one uh, and just like we queried it uh, in the previous video this is using the API and um, it queries it in the exact same way so if I went ahead and said dot JSON you can see it actually returns all the JSON data and that's typically what we want so when we're using React to communicate with our Django database um, or Django API, we're going to be making the request to API, whatever, ID, whatever. And we can even search, um, and we'll add those in, in, in future videos where we can, instead of passing an integer because uh, maybe we don't know, you know the band's ID name, so we know what they're called or what it might spell or what it might contain. So we can send those as query string parameters and still query our database and and return the, the JSON data that we need. And uh, we'll, we'll do that in future videos, but for right now we want to keep things as um, simple as possible. As you can see, I've already run into problems with not being able to um, get stuff to work the, the first time around. So uh, anyway, and we now have a RESTful API being returned from our um, our band app. So anyway, we're good to go. Sorry about the confusion here. In the next video, we're going to get into installing some uh, tools that we need in order to be, be able to um, keep track of React and, and um, a few other dependencies that our project is going to need. So to keep things nice and pretty, um, we're going to get into what tools we need to install. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.